Yes, um, the family met um, Walter, and Walter is a community advocate, and, um, and he put it out and asked if any attorney um, had knowledge in this area. And so Walter brought it to me, and I spoke to the family, and um, so that's how we connected with one another. And I've worked cases like this before, and so, you know, that's how I, I arrived here. And I've worked a lot of discrimination cases and sexual assault cases on college campuses, on high school campuses, and it's, um, the language is shocking shocking and appalling. And if you haven't opened it up, talked to experts, talked to counselors, you don't know how to educate a 16 or 17 year old properly so that they don't do it again. And you just end up accepting it. You end up making a statement that it's acceptable behavior. I'm, I'm a brother. I'm African American male. So of course it's an issue that hits home for me. Um, but with that said, I try to be as non-emotional as possible because, you know, I try to be rational and I try to not be a demagogue. Demagogue means that you're a disturber based on race. So I try not to be that. I try to promote healing. So I, I try to keep it simple and I try to do what's according to the law so that I can keep it simple and so I don't let my ego distract from the meaningful part of the case. You know, at this point, we're asking to get to the bottom of what happened and what steps were taken. So it's a very straightforward.